types of variable capacitors. So sometimes they are called the uh, polyvaricone capacitors or RF variable capacitors or plastic variable capacitors. And we have different types. For example, this one is called dual gang or two sections variable capacitor and is used for EM radio transistors while this one is four sections two sections for EM and short wave and two sections for FM now the sizes and capacitance are different from one type to another but unfortunately those variable capacitors are not manufactured in many countries like Japan, like Far East. Only some Chinese companies are still manufacturing them. So, if you want to f uh, some capa variable capacitors according to your needs, and you did not find it anywhere, the only solution to do that is to make it yourself by adjusting any of these capacitors according to the capacitance and the project that you need. In this episode, we will learn how we can actually manipulate and adjust any of these variable capacitors according to our needs. You can find them in the cheap scrap Chinese cassette players that are found actually nearly nearly everywhere even maybe at your home you have some some of these uh, thrown uh, cassette players especially those who are, who are with uh, actually integrated circuits like 2003 and you can extract any one of them and adjust it according to your needs basically you will increase the sheets and the capacitance or decrease it according to your needs. Sometimes you will convert it to a two gang AM transistor radio, or maybe you will convert it to a short wave transistor radio, whatever. This video will show you exactly how you can do that. Let's talk a little bit about this capacitor here, a double gang capacitor used for AM transistor radio. This side here, which is the capacitor one, this capacitor is 160 picofarads and it is called the RF capacitor because it's connected to the RF. This one here is 60 picofarads and it's connected to the oscillator. So this is the oscillator capacitor. You can see that there are two other capacitors on the roof and they are called the trimmer capacitors to adjust those two, this one is for the uh, this trimmer capacitor or the, for the RF capacitor and this one is for the oscillator so that you can adjust it to minimize or decrease all those two capacitors according to your needs. So the higher capacitance is like this which is 160 picofarad here and 60 picofarad here and the lowest is zero here and here cannot be zero maybe five or ten picofarads or something like that depends on the quality of the uh, capacitor itself now we will measure the 60 picofarad capacitor which is the oscillator capacitor and you can see it is 60 picofarads okay now shift to the other capacitor which is the RF capacitor and measure it using this device you see it's 152 uh, picofarads which is 160 picofarads now if you go down if you put it to the lowest capacitance just don't reach to zero because this will not test you need better device than this but we will put it for example like this 20 or 40 picofarads this is the 60 picofarads so less than 20 picofarads it will never test 33 picofarads if we take it to here and 
little bit we do like this this is the 160 bico farad 27 bico farads okay now suppose you want to make an em transistor radio so definitely you will need this capacitor which is 160 pico farads 60 pico farads but suppose you did not find it anywhere so what to do is to take any one of these those are all taken from a cassette recorder radius those which have the uh, integrated circuit 2003 and to convert it into 160 and 60 pico farads to fit in your uh, transistor AM radio project so this one to my left has been scrapped from a radio cassette recorder and it is 140 picofarads em to 20 picofarads fm and it's a four sections so in order to convert it into dual gang like this one on my right hand the first thing we have to do is to study the construction of this dual gang and that's not going to come except by complete anatomy and dissection of this uh, capacitor This is a sample of a capacitor component that can help us into understanding how can the, how the capacitor is structured. We took it from here, our mini workshop. So there are two sides, this side and this side. All right, two sections. The upper section, which is this one, you can see it has a central sheet a washer and of course there is in between a dielectric elastic in between then we have the side seat and the holder there is a washer in between so that it will separate this uh, sheet from the other sheet that will come from here okay this is for the upper side for the bottom side we have different we have the central sheet, a washer, a side sheet, and a holder. In between them all, there is a dielectric sheet. Now those are two also fixed. They are put in, in here and in here, or in any of these sides, so that they will hold the sheets, the dielectrics, in place while moving the uh, the gank all right then we have the cover and the four bolts on the cover as you can see uh, and this is of course the holding bolt that holds at the top of the of the axis all right. now looking at this we can understand the composition 
that will come next of the 160 and 60 picofarads. Okay, so this is the composition of the AM transistor BVC 160 and 60 picofarads. And as you can see, from top to bottom, you will find that there is a bolt, a washer, a side sheet, I'm sorry, the, a center sheet, a washer, I'm sorry, a dielectric plastic, isolator, then a holder, which is separator, then we have the side sheet. After that, we have a dielectric separator like this, then a washer, then a center sheet. Now we have two center sheets holding to one side sheet. Okay. Next we have the same, like this, another segment. Then we have this uh, final. This is the oscillator side, a 60 picofarad, which having uh, two side sheets and one, two, three center sheets. And you can see that the center sheet, it is cut from three places to minimize its capacitance, right? After that, there is a washer separating in between the two capacitors, which is this one. Then we come to here. Remember, this is all situated at the bottom, which is the oscillator capacitor, okay? So we have now the center is common in between them. This is the composition of the other 160 picofarads, this one. So we have, after the separator washer, we have a center sheet, a dielectric, and a side sheet. Then a separator, a washer, a center sheet. Then a dielectric, a holder, or separator if you like, then a side sheet, etc., 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 as you can see. So it is repeated. This one is repeated here, see? And it's repeated also here. So how many side sheets? We have one, two, three, this, uh, four. Always less than the center sheets, which is uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then after that comes this washer and this this actually stopper because it goes and stop here and stop here then it comes to here and this is the axis halas this bolt is holding all of them together this is the composition of the 160 and 60 picofarads now based on this composition we will build our modified pvc Okay, now to modify the IC radio cassette player found in the cassette player, which we have shown in the beginning of this video, to modify it for the SID one, which is 160 and 60. First of all, those are the composition of the two sides. And we have now how many capacitors? One, two, three, four. Those two are 20 picofarads, 20 picofarads. Those are for FM side, okay? You can leave them, no problem. But we are going to change and modify on this side. We will consider this one as an RF side and this one as an oscillator side. In this case, those segments appeared on the green color will be deleted so that we obtain the oscillator side. Remember, I don't know if you can see, those are a dielectrics, plastic separators, uh, insulators, okay? And this image will appear on the, after this video. And also the, this one. So those two images will appear after we finish from this video. That's number one. Secondly, the other capacitor will be modified 
by adding two segments like this way in here so that we will get 160 as RF and 60 as uh, oscillator side so let's go and build it then the details will be in the part number two from this series كما لاحظتم اخواني ما قبل ما خلاص انا كون بس اصلا 